Hello everybody, I just wanted to make you a quick video because I see that several students are kind of struggling with functions and kind of the, the basics of what they are and how to use them. So I wanted to kind of take some time and go over this again. If this helps, awesome. If not, just feel free to skip it. This is not a required video if you already have a handle on functions, so just keep that in mind. The way the functions work is that you basically have an input, you have a process, and then you have an output. So the input is the things inside the parentheses. Your process is the code block that runs and then your output is whatever is returned from those functions. So to give you an example, let's just do a quick function. So you might do function, and we'll call it um, add, and you got your open and close parentheses. So inside of these parentheses are where your arguments go. Let's make this blue. My arguments go right there. And you can have as many or as few arguments as you want, but that's where they go. And then you have open curly brackets and then close curly brackets. And then your code goes here. And that's really all that a function is. This process part right there, that is the code that is inside of the function. Your input are the arguments. And then let's say in this function, as part of this function, we're going to return output. Whatever the output variable is, this output right here is a variable that we are creating and defining inside the function. So our output, let's do a nice purple. Our output is this, so whatever is returned. Let's zoom out a bit so I can, let's see if we can do that, yeah. So let's zoom out and go over to the side, and then we can just kind of look over there. So this process is honestly the most important part of the whole function because that's the magic. That's where all, that's where um, everything happens. So for our function add, we might do something like this. So let's go back to the red, perfect. And we might do, um, and this by the way is a traditional function declaration. So I'd do that just because it's a little bit more clear for beginners with functions. In the class, you're going to want to use arrow functions, but I'm going to use traditional and arrow here. So I'll do it both just so you can see it and make it more clear. So how I would write this same function as an arrow function would be const add equals open and close parentheses. Then you have your arrow, and then you have your curly brackets. And I'm going to go ahead and just give a little bit more room so we can see. So right here inside we would want our arguments. Let's say our arguments are going to be A and B. And we're just going to add those two things together. So those are our arguments. Remember over here you've got the arguments are in blue and that is the input. So this is what will be input. And then the process is this part in the middle. So I'll use green for that. There's a few different ways we could do this. I'm going to go ahead and do it the long way, if you will, and create variables just to make it a little bit more clear. And then I'll show you how you can get rid of that and do it the simple way after that. So let's say we wanted to add, so we might um, let output equal zero. So we're creating an output variable. And then we basically want to add A and B together. So if we wanted to do that, we could do output equals a plus b. And I'm actually going to circle those in blue so that we know that those are our inputs. And then now that we know that output is equal to a plus b, we're going to return output. And I'm going to use purple for that because that is indeed our output, just coming from right here which comes from right there. So there's our output. There is our input right there. And then our process is all of this stuff in the middle. Now that I have this function, let's go ahead and call this function. Let's see if I can keep it on the screen. There we go. So to call this function, because right now what this is doing is this is creating a function in the memory, but it's not actually doing anything with it in our program. It, it packages up all this code and sticks it in the memory so we can use it, but it doesn't ever actually do anything with it until we actually call it. So to call the code, we're going to come down below and we're going to call add. And to call it, you have to use open and close parentheses. Even if there's no arguments, let's say I wrote a function that had no arguments, which comes up a lot. 
if you just do add, all you're doing is referencing the function. But if you use the open and close parentheses, then it is actually calling the function, meaning run this code using the inputs I give you. So if we're going to pass in the inputs of 1 and 2, and what would happen is this simply returns output. And right now we're not doing anything with output. We're running this function and it will return output and output will be returned, but it, we're not doing anything with it. So if we actually want to use that output, we need to do something with it, such as say it's setting it equal to a constant. So let's scroll over a little bit and we can do const num equals add one plus two. So we can take a constant, const other num equals add, scroll over so we can actually see it, we might do five and ten. So now we have two constants, we have num and we have other num. Right now num equals 3. We know this because the return value of add when it is called with 1 and 2 is 3 because 1 plus 2 is 3. Constant other num we know is equal to 15 because the return value from add when it's called with 5 and 10 is 15. This is one way and the major way that you use function is you call them and assign variables to them. Constant whatever or let whatever equal your function called with whatever parameters you need. So in summary, this is the most important part. Functions are basically just processes where you can package up code and run it later. Functions will, generally speaking, have an input. Functions will have a process, which is all of the code that runs inside. And then functions will usually have an output. They won't always return something, but they will usually return something. So it is possible to have a function that doesn't actually return something. So when you are defining your functions, you want to use arrow function syntax. Const, whatever you're naming your function, equals, open and close parentheses with however many arguments inside, could be none, could be 7,000, could be a billion. Your arrow, which is equals, and then the right caret or the greater than sign. Curly brace, curly brace, and then between those curly braces, you have the code. This is the process. At the end of the process, or at some point in the process, you're going to return something almost every time, and then once the return runs, it will stop. It will no longer run. So now that we've done with this whiteboard, let's jump over to the REPL. You'll see here that I have an input, process, output, and let's recreate those in actual JavaScript instead of just whiteboard. So const add equals, and get our skeleton set up, and I think it's a good idea to go ahead and do this every time. Even if you know you're gonna have arguments, go ahead and set up your skeleton like this, so then you can go back and add your ar arguments. So we're going to add A and B. And then over here, we created a variable, we set the output variable equal to those, and then we return the output. So we can do that here. Let output equal zero, output is equal to A plus B, return output. And that's fine. That works just fine. But it's not the best coding process because we've got three lines when we don't need it. So instead what we could do is just return A plus B. That way we're compressing all that into one line and it looks better and it's happier and it's shorter and we're good. But the important part is that this is still doing nothing. If I run this, nothing. Nothing is output. Because I have to actually call it add three and five. And even now this is doing nothing. You'll see it over here because the way that REPL works is that it will print the very last thing you return. But if I duplicate this, 3 and 10, whatever, you'll only see the last one. That's just a thing with this um, REPLit that it always shows you the last thing you return. If you're actually going to do anything with this, you have to set it equal to a variable or a constant. Const num equals add 3 and 5. Const my num or num2 or whatever equals that. And now we've got those. You'll notice here now it's not showing anything and we can console.log these if we want to. And run. And now we can see them both. So we know that number right here is equal to 8 because this is returning the value. 
whenever you return something, you can set a constant equal to it. If I don't return this, if I just console.log this, instead of actually returning it, both of these will now be equal to undefined because I'm not returning anything. Oops, L-O-G. So you'll see here that these two right here are coming from when we actually run our functions. We are console.logging those. However, these two right here are both undefined. And we can do that. We can be sure of that. Num num2 and run it. We can see that num is undefined, num2 is undefined because we're not actually returning anything here. That's the importance of the return keyword. It allows you to take the values or, or the magic of whatever you're doing in here and actually output it to your variables or your constants. That's the magic of the return keyword. So return a plus b run and now it works. So hopefully this helped kind of clarify things with functions a little bit. I know some, some people had it and some people were still struggling with functions. Some of you are struggling with the syntax. A lot of you, a lot more of you, however, are struggling with kind of the process of what functions are and the overarching idea of, of how they work and how to define them and the difference between defining and calling and, and when to return. So just to reiterate real quick, defining a function is just doing that. It's defining the function. It's telling your program, hey, here is a chunk of code right here that I want to use over and over and over and over again. I want you to make that code available in memory, and in order to access it, all I want to have to do is call the name with these arguments in parentheses. And I can plug in whatever I want for these arguments. And then whenever I do that, whenever I am calling this function, because right here is where we are calling it, I want you to run this code, and then whatever comes after my return, set it equal to that constant. So set this constant equal to whatever the return value is of this function. If you have any questions, please let me know. I know this is a little bit confusing on first glance, but we, we will use functions a lot. Functions are one of the most vital and important components of programming in any language, just about anything above scratch. So it's very important that you understand functions, what they are and how they work. Thank you much.